Hi, this is Tamika with Pastries, Pumps, and Pine. I'm here with an unboxing of the latest Planners Anonymous kit called Coffee and Corgis. So if you're interested to see what this kit is all about, stay tuned. All right, so this kit again is entitled Coffee and Corgis. So remember I told you I would continue the story with you, right? So few kids back, we saw Peach Promenade that gave us the love story of Viv and Clyde, right? We had all the peaches and the little squirrels. I think there were squirrels in there. It was just very pretty with the handwritten love letters and things like that. And then I showed you the fall kit, which was called Farmhouse Fall, which in that kit, we met Willow, who was the granddaughter of Vivian. And now we get to meet someone new who is also connected to that story. So let's go ahead and dive in. I'm going to start right here with the art card and the welcome card. So you can meet the new character in this story. And it is Ken. Ken is Willow's boyfriend. Fiance? One of the two. And he is a barista. And he is very handsome. When I tell you the Planners Anonymous fans were wooning over Ken, okay? He's a looker. He's a looker. Yes, he is. And on the other side, we have like the chalkboard theme that you kind of see in in the coffee shops. Mind you, I'm not a coffee person. Not at all. But first I do the coffee, then I plan the things. Very, very cute. There he is. Sorry, ladies. He's taken. He belongs to Willow. All right, so let's move some things around and let's show you some of the other items here. So let's go ahead and do the die cut since we just opened this bag. Alright, so there's a nice coffee bean there. And another coffee bean. They're very large. I like that these die cuts are very large. I'm going to zoom in some so we can see things a little better. Ooh, we don't want to... <laughs> we don't want to go... I know y'all want to be close to Ken, but I ain't going to let you get that close. Alright, so here he is as a die cut. Um, the Planners Anonymous die cuts are adhesive back, so if you pull the backing, you can use this as a sticker. Okay. Here's the Corgi. A cute um, light. The coffee with the little coffee artwork in there. I love this Monstera plant. I love this die cut. I love it a lot. Here's another coffee cup, an aerial view of that. The Corgi paw prints, some more coffee art, another um, coffee bean. The pretty flower, these are coffee filter flowers. Aren't they cute? We have a picture, probably for your cream, I guess. You coffee people tell me. I don't know what this is. I'm not a coffee person. Looks like there's coffee in there. I don't know what that is. Y'all tell me in the comments what that is. We have a little sleepy corgi here. Whoops. Nothing is cuter than a corgi butt, right? Y'all y'all know I'm telling the truth. It sounds weird, but it's it's true. We have this little tray of fo uh, foliage, little plants, then some other ones here. I love it. Another coffee filter flower. This looks like some essence of flavoring. Another Monstera plant. The to-go cup. Look at those croissants. So perfectly done. I want one. We have another sleeping corgi in the cute comfy chair. An ice brew coffee. And the little barista dinette set. 
So those are the lovely die cuts. All of these die cuts are the bomb. Every single one of them turned out so, so well. So those are our die cuts for this kit. All right, um, here is our pen. We have gold hardware on here. Of course, it says Planners Anonymous. It has a um, light coffee color barrel on there. <laughs> coffee with some cream and then the beautiful jewels in there so there's yellow and some pink in there and I can't really make out what the other color is but there's our pen all right here is our stamps so here's our stamp set um I think all of that is in frame um let me take it out because it's it's a glare and I want you to see all of this all right. Well, I mean, it's still going to be a glare, but so this says pro caffeinating and it has a little loading symbol there. This is a big coffee mug. I want to say that this piece is separate. I'm going to pull this up because I want to confirm what I'm thinking here. Yeah, this deco piece is separate because you can interchange it with all of those. And then you have this Thanks a Latte, and that is a separate. It's not part of the mug. Okay. You've got the little steam, the corgi, the paw prints, the car corgi heart butt. The corgi butts are cute. Powered by coffee, more little paw prints, coffee beans, and a lot of little icons down there at the bottom. But that is our stamp set. It's really cute. Those of you that love coffee are going to love this stamp set because you can... Like I said, play with the coffee artwork on there. All right. Our mystery item this month was this sticky notepad. And it's shaped like the coffee. So it's a nice little amount of sticky notes there. I would say it's probably got to be about a good 20 to 30 of them there. And there you have it. So this is cute. It's nice to have a sticky pad, something different that we haven't had in a minute. Um, all right, let's look at our washi. I didn't get a sheet of paper to swatch this. I don't know why that sounded like I was about to say something I shouldn't say. Here, I'll have a little scrap piece of, for me doing some die cutting and stuff. So this first washi still has that chalkboard effect and it's just a bunch of hearts on it if I can I think this is where it, yeah this is where it starts right here and I like that the hearts are a little wonky I like that like I said again that chalkboard aesthetic to it here we have the different coffee cups and some of them have the corgi on them. You've got the gold foiling on that as well. And let's see where this starts to repeat. It's look like it's going a distance here. Oh yeah, it's going a ways before it starts to repeat again. <laughs> you see the little corgi again but before everything else starts to repeat, it takes a while. I mean, I guess they are repeating. I guess the whole length of it takes a while to repeat again is what it is. But yeah, that with a little gold specks in it. I don't know if that's picking up on camera. There it is. All right, and then we have the wide washi, which I hope I left space for. And the wide washi has the corgis on it. I'm gonna put it. Y'all have to excuse this little scrap piece of cardstock. But that's all I got to find right now to use and show you this. So there is a little spot behind there from me doing some stamping. But yeah, this gives you an idea of how the wide corgi washi is. And again, you've got some gold foiling on those little paw prints. So if you love dogs, you love corgis especially, this washi tape you're gonna fall in love with. 
So those are the three washi tapes. You always get three, skinny, standard, and a wide washi. So again, there's the wide washi with the corgis. Then we flip back over here. We have the chalkboard style in the skinny. And then there's the standard washi with a little bit of gold foiling on there. Very cute. All right. Here is the stickers for the kit. In the standard kit, you get two sheets of stickers. One kind of functional, one very decorative. So here's the functional side. You've got all the, the dates, some headers, your storage sticker, the minis. Look at the corgi in the box. You have day covers. And then you have the folding planner sticker. So the folding planner sticker is always a little indicative of what an actual planner might look like if they decide to make one based on the kit. So you get one of these and the standard stickers and then there's an additional one in the additional sticker book. So it folds so that you can open it up and close it like you're actually opening a planner. And then you have this strip down here with all the corgis on it. So cute. And then on the back of the, with this other sheet here, we have some decorative pieces. Now, these chalkboards um, ones, you could use a jelly roll pen, either a white one or some kind of metallic or even some other colored jelly roll pen to write on these dark spaces if you would like to do that. You've got the little fancy coffee espresso machine. Yeah, this is cute. Where this one is cut in a rectangle, this one is kiss cut around the corgis. So this is all the stickers you get if you get the standard kit. For me, it's never enough, so I always get the additionals as well. And I'll show you that in a second. So let's look at the standard papers. Let's zoom out. So standard papers. In the papers, you get three designs, two of each design. You also get a sheet of acetate and a sheet of vellum. Excuse the noise. All right, so here is, and I'm going to use what I got over here to show this to you. Ooh, I ended up getting two of these. How nice. Okay, so here is the acetate, and it has that chalkboard style again with all the different coffee words and different fonts and creamers and coffee art and coffee beans, coffee lovers. This is for you. It is so cute. And I got two of them. We're not supposed to get two of these. But I have two. <laughs> so yay. Yeah. And then here is the vellum with the corgis on it. And they're paw prints. And it's supposed to look like kind of a spilled coffee effect as well. All right. And let's look at our three designs. So this first design is just like the um, vellum with the corgis on there. And then there's the back side of that. This is the second design. I really like this with the brick wall, the little fancy lights, all the shelves with photos and plants and coffee. I really like that a lot and the coffee filter flowers and then the back has the black not quite black but almost sorry for hitting the camera and then this one just has all of the coffee art very um, similar to that standard washi tape and then there's the back of that one all right so that is everything that comes in the standard kit Again, there are add-ons. You can add on additional paper, additional stickers. So let's look at the additional paper. If you decide to do the additional paper, what you will get is an additional sheet of the vellum, an additional sheet of the acetate, and three new designs. Again, two of each design. So again, here is the acetate. They did right this time. There was only one in there. And then here's another sheet of the vellum. All right, and let's look at our other three designs. So we've got that chalkboard design. Where do we just see this? 
on the we just saw this on something on one of the other papers or am I tripping oh the acetate that's where we just saw this so now we have it in that chalkbook style chalkboard style I was like I know I just saw this but yeah same as the acetate and then there's the back and the green this one has just the um, vines and plants hanging there. So for if you want that plant aesthetic, this would work. And then there's the back of that. Um, I was hoping this could be used portrait style, but yeah, I don't think it would work. And then here's the last paper and it has the coffee beans and some foliage mixed in, little specks and then the brown on the back. So that is our additional paper pack. And then we have the additional stickers. Now with the additional stickers, you can get a sticker book only subscription, which means uh, this is all that you're gonna receive is this sticker book. Or you can add this sticker book to the standard kit. I know some people add more than one sticker book. To their standard kit so that is possible as well so here we go let's dig in we have our moment to remember sticker it's not cut along this very edge you would have to kiss cut around there yourself if you wanted to use everything off to the edge a manufacturing right re uh, restrictions keep them from being able to cut along there but here's some deco we got a little bit of gold foiling going on on there Here's the, oh, Ken. That is a nice look, Ken. Yeah. And then you could cut along there and use that too because that's really cute with the foliage and the coffee flo coffee liner flowers and the coffee beans. Oh, those are very cute stickers. Then we have these on clear. Again, there's a little bit of gold foiling going on there. A lot of this page is dedicated to the corgis and the paw prints. Then here is on another sheet with the minis. And the minis are back on paper. Hallelujah. I hate it that they were unclear. <laughs> because if you wanted to use them in like a scene or something, everything was coming through their bodies and their faces. And I'm glad they're back on paper. Thank you. I was so not happy when they were put on clear. And now they're back. And I'm excited. So we've got some functional minis down in here. We've got some peekaboos and the dancing minis there. All right. Then we get into our four weekly themes. The themes are usually based off of the papers. And two are usually foiled and the other two are not. So again, these are in black, but you can use a jelly roll right, white, metallic, or colored pen to write in those spaces to keep them functional. And you, again, you could cut along the side to get the whole scene in your plan. Then we have this one with the coffee and the coffee beans. This one with the corgi and the paw prints. She said this was supposed to say something like, don't be rough, you know, as in rough on yourself, but that didn't get printed in. So you could fill in whatever word you want to fill in there since the word did not print. And this, this theme is foiled. And then we have the chalkboard theme with the green. I like that. All right, we're back to some clear. I love, love this. I wish this would have been a die cut piece. She stopped putting these as die cut pieces. I don't know why. There is a very weird lighting thing going on. And I don't know if I'm the only one that's noticing it or you guys are noticing it too. But if it's bothering me, then I know it's bothering you guys. I don't know why it's doing that. But I'm going to hold it like this so you could see it. 
And I apologize if that's what you've been seeing thus far, if you're seeing what I'm seeing. <laughs> All right, then we go back over here. This page is also paper. So if you don't get this, this, the standard kit and you just get this book and you want a little bit of washi, you do get a few washi strips. You would have to, again, cut along here to use this piece right here. We have the additional folding sticker, folding planner sticker, and a clipboard functional sticker there. These are all functional. You can't really tell, but I'll zoom in for you. You've got boxes, checklists, and flags. This checklist is in three pieces, so you can make it as long or short as you need it to be. And you've got the different colors of the kit, all the different coffee colors, and then the foliage. <laughs> and then here's our last page which is the page with your some more day dots some more days of the week some more headers and a few icons and this page is always foiled all right so that is your additional sticker book so you can either get this by itself or add this to your subs uh your subscription for the standard kit we had our um Papers and additional papers. Let me zoom back out so you can see everything. There's the standard stickers, our mystery item, our stamps, our pen, our washi tapes, the die cuts, and our art card slash welcome card with handsome kin. So comment below, let me know what you think about Corgis and coffee. Are you a fan of coffee? Are you a fan of Corgis? Are you a fan of both? Or do you like neither? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you think about the kit. I love the color scheme um, of the kit. It's not often that you have a bunch of browns and greens. So it's nice to see this color palette. And I think it works for fall as well. But yeah, let me know what you think about this kit. Those corgis are too stinking cute. And so is Ken. All right, guys, you know what else to do. Be sure to slay, subscribe, like, and accept the alerts so you don't miss any videos. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.